Hello world, Dinocony here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing, or starting a series of Minecraft rigging. I'm going to be showing you how to um, get the character set up, like, how, not, like in the series, just get, I think, everything of the rig completed. Then I'm also going to get, um, what was I going to say, I don't know it anymore, the actual base model set up, and then sharpen smooth bends. That's what I'll we'll be doing today, and so I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, subscribe. I'll make more animations and tutorials and this kind of stuff later. But anyway, what you want to do first is turn this on, go into its settings, and hit Effect Scale as well. You don't want rotation on, just also scale. So either hit Shift A or Add. I'm going to do Shift A Cube. Now watch that. Hit S, and now it should scale down the pixels. So whenever this thing hits this, it's done. You just stop scanning at that point. Then what you want to do is you want to hit tab, turn extra toggle x-ray on, and then you keep that on. You move this up eight pixels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not eight. When it, when it hits eight, when it hits, it, it should look like this. Then A, one, two, three, four. By the way, you hit G for that. Go out of it. And now you see this. And that looks right. So now move it up onto the line. Then over here. And then you're going to hit Shift D. Drag this up. Then move it over right here. And then just select all these sides. Move it over two. Select these sides. Move it over two. That way if you Shift D this... It's like delete. Shift D this right up to here. Now Shift A again. Oh yeah, I said Shift D in case you didn't understand me. Cube. Scale that down to its point four. So just hit S point four. Then G two point. Nope, nope. That's not right. Sorry. G Z two point eight. Or you can just drag it up until it looks right. There we go. Now we're going to add the skin. So go over to the textures tab right here. I'm sorry, material properties. This is texture tab. Oops, my bad. Hit base color, image, image texture. Change this to closest, open. And then just go to wherever you keep your skin. I'm just going to be opening this one. And now go over to the shading. And then... Go right down to here and pull color into subsurface color. And then now you can just come back if you want to. Just go back to layout. Now, turn off specular. It looks really bad. Change this up here to the UV editor or do something. Have a UV editor up. <clears throat> Tab A. Turn off x-ray. Go back to face select. A R negative 90. That way it all fits. Then you can just go and do this. Turn this one on. It's called, It's this, it lets you pick sides. And then just drag it till it looks right. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this quite right. Because I've, I've said this before. I've had this before. And I've messed it up. I had to actually look at the skin that I was using to make sure I was doing it right. But... <clears throat> I think I know what to do for this. Then you just do that. Tap here, get the head. And you'll notice that the head is a bit off sometimes. It's like, see how the dot up there on the skin, the dot's right here and the dot's right there. Just go hit go over to here. You've got another A, R, negative 90. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yep, that looks right. Tab down to here. And then just drag that. And just do the same thing but with this one. And it still won't look right because that dot needs to be on that side. So hit A90. Just 90. Not negative 90, just 90. Perfect. Now what you want to do is delete this. Shift D. Oops. And then drag it down towards in the middle. Then S, Z, boom. And then just scale it till it fits. Perfect. Oh yeah, then also just... Oh wait, nope. You don't want to scale it. That's my bad. 
you want to go back over to here, turn this back on, and then drag this up two pixels. A natural way of doing it is just to scale, even though the scaling part is not right. Just do like I do. I think it's two pixels on each side. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Turn X-ray back off, go back over to here, A, A, and just drag it down to here. Next, what you want to do is you want to just grab all of these things, move them over, oops, move them into position, grab all these middle ones and pull them up. I've got to say it's by hitting G that you drag them up. Then I think that looks about right. You gotta fix these sides, which but you do by just dragging this, dragging that. And yeah, that looks about right. Yep. Delete this arm. Shift it. Then scale it down until it hits four pixels again. So just at S, X. And I think that is correct if I put this on top of this one. Yeah, that, that is correct. Okay. Tab A. Just drag all these. Oops. No, don't do that. Just drag all these things over till it fits. Just grab these three. Okay, well, it's not. Let me do that apparently. Grab these things and just. Oh, yeah. Also these. Drag them into position. Drag them into position. Tell me I messed. I did it right this time. Okay. Whatever. I'll actually do them individually then. Just drag these into position. Oh yeah, if it just does that, just manually do it. I have no idea why that line is like that, but it is. Then just... Um, uh, basically line them all up like this. That should be right. I'm going to go make sure because I did... Mess it up a lot. If it looks right. Now you can just do this. X, delete this one. Shift D. Tab A. And then just drag all these things over to this side. And that side's done. Just finish moving all these things to the appropriate pixel. Not really pixel. That's just what I call it. And now for this part, you can keep it like this if you want to. But I'm going to do it like this. R9, negative 90. Then just drag this up here. R90, drag this one up here. And now base rig setup. So like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to do the bends tab. By the way, this part was inspired by, um, uh, what are they called? Pixel Productions. I tried it in a different way, and I couldn't get it to work, so I'm using this method. But I'm showing you how to do smooth bends instead of sharp bends. I'll show you both, but I'm do, I'll do smooth bends first. But yeah, I did try it another way, and I couldn't get it to work. Change the number of loop cups to two. Boom. Then change it down to one, and put one more here, here, and here. And then that arm is now done. So then now you can just shift A in an armature. Oops, shift A, armature. Go over to here and just change. Oh, what do you call it? It's it's report to slay in front. I'm just gonna name this bone temporarily base. In, in edit mode, shift D it up to the arm right there and call it top arm dot R. And then now you can just R negative ninety. And fix it again. Then drag this in two pixels. One, two. Now it has to take up eight pixels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I messed that up. One, two, three, four, five. I can't remember. I just can't remember anymore. I think it was eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right there. Subdivide. Extrude, I did it wrong. Needs to go one more forward, subdivide, and then extrude. 
Now I, I'm just gonna call this thing wrist dot r and expect some things in this rig to change so like once you get everything set up i might go back and change some stuff to make it better so don't expect everything to stay the same now for the weight painting go over to wireframe view select the arm oops tap this control p with empty groups that way, now you have all these bones in here. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to go over to... I'd go, I go topside view, but you don't really have to. Add this bone, constraints, limit, rotation. Boom, boom. If you want backwards, then it's the exact same thing, just reversed. One, two, five. And then now, boom. That's, that's perfect. Now we gotta do some weight painting. First up, select the armature, then shift select the actual arm, and then go into weight paint mode. Now I'm gonna select the wrist. We can select it in there, either way works. Make this 32. Then just select these corners. Boom. Boom. Oh no. Change this to add. Whew, almost forgot that part. That would've been bad. I don't think it would actually change anything. Then just completely do this part. And then there we go. Gotta do another pixel. There we go. And then there we go. That's the wrist done. Go over to top arm. You take these three. One, two, three. And then these bottom three as well. Oh, to darken the red, you gotta tap these corners. Not like these actual edges, not the act those other parts. So then now that that's done. Even though I said that, you're still gonna see me coloring it in the middle part too, just because I like to do that. Even though I know it doesn't work, I I just like to do it. It's weird. Like yeah, you can see that if I color in here, it's not really darkening. But if I touch these corners, it actually darkens. And then yeah, now that arm is done. And then everything else belongs to the. Let me make sure I did the wrist right, okay. The reason why I said that is because my first time doing this, I am, uh, oh, then you go, go here, here, and then here. And then now just color that in. Anyway, my first time doing this, I actually messed it up and got some of the wrists down here as well. So it would really, it's really weirdly, it's weird, it was weirdly, def weirdly deforming it because it had a, a parent like some of the pixels down here are parented to it even though they should not have been i just messed it up horribly horrible who ordered the chipotle <laughs> it's not at all a joke but okay they can go out of weight paint mode and assuming i did this correctly you'll see a very big glitch oh is it just crashing me okay now i just have to tap the screen okay r 90 negative yep i messed something up as to no one's surprise, that's correct. Don't know why it's going down there. I actually have no idea what I did wrong. Wait, what did... I accidentally parent something down here to it? Yeah, I keep doing this every time. Like, it's it, it happens. I mess it up a lot. It's fine. Did I get anything down here? What the? I um, have actually not done this before. Um. Uh. Oh, I know what I did. I just named these things incorrectly. Just go back and rename these things. I just had the wrong one selected. Just if that happens, just go back through and rename this thing. Sorry about this guy texting. He's in a Discord with me. And now it should be working after I renamed it. Yep, that's working. Yep, just make sure you have the right one selected like I did not. 
are negative 90. If it's on this side, it's negative. If it's, if it's on this side, it's positive. Now to add shape keys, just going to go and add boom, tab, turn this on, not for smooth bends. Turn this on and then just, oh, make sure you have x-ray on again. Then just turn it up right there. Drag this, these all down to right here. Every single one of them. And there we go. Now I'm going to add the driver already. Turn this up. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and add the driver. Add driver. And oops. Var divided by two. And then there we go. Now change this to armature, bone, bottom arm, X rotation, local space. There we go. Now it should be working. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Bar, now it works. Now 125. This one, this is what I was trying to figure out on my own and could not get it to work. So, and when you press this button right here, drag these and then pull it up to where it looks like. Oh, yeah, sorry, I have to turn this up to see it as well. Uh, 123 bend. Also, quick side note it will not work at first. I'm just gonna say, it, it, at first, it will not work. And you'll see why I say that in just a second. You'll try it and it won't work and you'll probably be mad at me and I'll explain what happened. Okay, it's gonna finish. You don't have to have these things exactly right, but you wanna get them as close as possible. Like, see how close that was? Get it almost, that just that close. And then just gonna pull this out some more, and boom, that looks like a good bend. Wrist looks a bit wonky though, so I'm going to probably pull these things out some more, and then there we go. That looks like a good bend, don't y'all agree? I'm just gonna copy this driver, paste the driver, edit the driver, oops, edit driver, <laughs> space minus one. And then just save. And then now, if you look at it, eh, it looks wrong because the driver can't actually finish. There's a way to do it, like generator negative one, but I don't quite remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it's like a driver. I'm going to turn this off and then just manually do it. That looks better. Then just go and do the same thing down here. And then boom, there you go, that, that's our bend. They might be thinking, you have to do smooth bends first. Here's sharp bends, and here's how I get smooth bends. Add a modifier, subdivision surface. It's gonna do this. Just give it a second to load. And then boom, perfect. Also, you'll notice since, since it's just in the middle, I think you can just copy and like do the same thing over here, just like shift D the arm. What you want to do is go over here to edge selector, hit alt on this thing, on this, 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 and this. And then do shift E or just change up the mean crease. Oh, also grab this one. Or you can just move up the mean crease. And then, yeah, I don't know why, but mine's always bug out like that. Yeah, it has the smooth bend now. I'm actually just changing this thing up to three. This one always bugs out for me. I don't know why. I'm just going to change this mean crease to one. If any pixels look, look like that, just do that. Just make sure it's not this middle one. I rotate this. I have a smooth bend. Actually, a really good smooth bend. 
if I increase this one, which I'll, I'll have that selected so you can see it. Don't mean increase that middle one, because if you do, because if you do, you'll get a sharp bend. It changes it to sharp bend. So yeah, that's how you can get smooth and sharp bend. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to mention something important. <clears throat> so if you, I got both arms working. I, I'll show you this part later. I'm going to put this in somewhere in the middle part. The way to get more, <clears throat> sorry, the quick pixels on the arm, pixels on the arms, you want to go to loop cut and change this to three. Then just come right here, boom, boom. If it glitches to hit tab, it fixes it itself. And then just go here, and boom, you have all the pixels there. Come right here, and boom. Now you have all the pixels that. Oops, don't do that. I should have selected. <clears throat> I have all the pixels set up. The reason why, so basically how it works is if you want four pixels, you give it a loop cut of, you change the loop cut number to three, one this and what you need. And then, well, there you go. You have all the pixels on the arm, pixels on the arms. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this arm too really quick, just to save me some time. Now for the other arm, let's see if it works. I added the base to see if this would work. If it does, it does. If not, it does not. Symmetrize. Okay, yeah. Do you want to have the base there? Also, it won't symmetrize because that's the center. Yeah. So now I can just delete this arm. Just down. I changed viewport to one so it doesn't lag out. Shift D, right click, change this to one. Then just, you know, change all the pixels over to here or snapping on our negative 90 then just do the same thing with the weight paint it's just of the shape keys but I'm not sure if it switches change this to dot L and change this one also to dot L oh does it just change the mouth or I just do that one already Change these things both to dot L. I'll just go on ahead and show me you me doing the second one as I can. Assuming the shape keys stayed the same is a different story. So now just control P with empty groups. Have them all right here. Just casually do the weight paint thing again. If you want to skip this part, you can. This the tutorial is technically done here. I'm just showing you me doing, at, the, at this point, I'm just showing you me doing both. Uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just sh showing you me doing both sets of arms so I can prove to you that it does actually work. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Wish to be covered in a later one. Facial controls. Yes, I actually will be showing you how to do advanced facial controls and have them look good. I'll be showing you a bunch of different stuff in this tutorial. So, not not this one, not this one. Oh gosh, no, no, not this one, but like in later ones in this series. Hmm. Oops, that that's the wrong three. I'm not think that these loop cuts were that far away. Wait, were they really that far away? Hold up. Huh? They were. Oh wait, no, I'm in this one. Uh, turn this off. Were they really that far away? Yeah, so any pixels that look weird, just like me increase it. Yes, yeah, so like I think they were that yeah, they were decently. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Try to make sure I did that right. It looked a bit off. My paint mode just uh, finish doing what I said. Just gotta finish them. Make sure that it's working. 
don't do legs yet. I will show you legs a different one. I'm not sure I'm going to show both styles of ankles, but I might. Yes. So you have to fix that, and I'll show you how to do that after I finish with the top arm. Just going to... I haven't even th hit 30 minutes yet, so I'm good. I'm good. On, I'm good. On, I'm good on time. I was wondering, I don't want to make this, this tutorial that long because I'm afraid if it's too long, people won't actually watch it. And I want to help people. So it's kind of like, I don't really care. You did not make that many loop cuts, but it's fine. So now I go back into object mode, tab A, select everything. Top arm dot R, remove, remove, remove. And now if I were to just go back into here, boom, working smooth bend on this side, working bend on this side, and there we go. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and then I'll see you in the next one.